guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting during to episode 9 of Wonder Egg Priorities. So let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. Crap on my face, like, ugh. No, it's still there. No, I think it's gone now. Hmm? <laughs> well, because she made me want to spend time with you three. <clears throat> I mean, you are Netta's friends, right? See, I want to say that today's episode is just going to be like a nice, calm, cool, and collective episode. But I don't think that's going to happen, you know. I'm guessing this is going to be an episode focusing on this, the continued um, struggle of Nadu, possibly. Because, I mean, you know, you start with her in the beginning of this episode, so who else is it going to be about? Oh. My thing was, how the heck were y'all able to take pictures inside of... <laughs> right? Does Nadu have a high IQ? That's crazy. Okay, then who is in charge? Oh, a teddy bear. Oh, damn. Oh. 
do you have another one named Eve? And then do you have like kitchen? Well, yeah, because in a way she doesn't really have to worry about school. <clears throat> Excuse me. Oh, Momo. Oh, it's pretty blue. Yeah, they what about you? Mm-hmm. Mm, yeah. No, I think she means like with you for, I mean, four, three, my bad. Hmm? Oh. Why is she in the incubator? Oh. Mm -hmm. So what happened to her? Oh. Possibly your first one? Oh, her eyes are pretty, too. She looks just like I, only really because of her eyes. Like, I don't think she had, like, that God power, but because of the fact that she was interesting and wanting to study into the near-death experiences, it makes sense of why she wants to do it on herself. I mean, just like a certain one of my favorite characters.
And see, no matter what, she just seems... She just likes it as, like, fun. This looked like this damn highway from the Monogatari series. Damn, red pinky. Oh, so she was one of them as well. She's right. And so besides you holding her body, <laughs> let's say the police come and they find the body, you're going to get arrested. Even if she's just that close to near death experience, possibly even dead. Mm-hmm. Mm. Yeah, this person is hella annoying. <laughs> she's 
Excuse me. Mm, just better IQ. Sure about that. That's going to be the hardest thing to do for anyone. She has to. She has no other choice. And see, when she does it, she can't take it back. Exactly. I mean, messing with someone else's life like that, that's not cool. Yeah, they're your friends. Mm -hmm. Don't do it like that. I'm at a crossroads with this right now. Wait, I... Can't trust bitches. Cause see, didn't I tell you? How like even last week with the damn recap, I was like, I cannot trust these mannequins. It's okay to cry. Yeah. Oh, the teacher? 
Hell yeah. Nah, because y'all mother effers are planning something. Come on now, because why else would you do it? She really decides on the race. Okay. So yeah, I, I don't trust our um our handy dandy mannequins ever since, you know, cause this is like, you know, some rev you starlight ish. How from the get go, episode one, I didn't trust the giraffe. No matter, you know, how much, you know, how fine the male say of that giraffe is because he, he is too fine but still I could not trust him because I was like something about not only the, the giraffe but the mannequins in this show make you look at them you're like yeah you guys are hella untrustworthy I get the fact that you know Nidu had to do what she had to do but because if even if she didn't the government would eventually had come for um Kobu Kotobuki body and such and who knows what else they would have done yes they needed her um herself and her brain and everything because as she said she is one of like the most important like type of people i mean having someone who is albino and not like everybody else it has to be important for whatever sciences and tests that they're trying to do but the fact is that you know it seems like Kobe Kotobuki, Kotobuki, also maybe tested on herself because she was so obsessed with near-death experiences and everything. So it, it, she had to. I mean, because like, what else would you do? And such. Something kind of also tells me that I don't know because now I don't trust the lady who was with Neu because she was talking to the mannequin. So something is gonna come up next week. To the point where either Neru's um, assistant, hell, maybe even Neru herself, um, might be a traitor. Because, I, you know, because I haven't thought about this in a while, but with the next episode being a confession and what the heck just happened in the last few minutes of this episode, it wouldn't surprise me coming to the end, the conclusion of the series, if we do get a quote-unquote traitor among these four girls because they've had such a good um lasting friendship ever since the four of them have met and it would be the most despair inducing thing to make one of them be a betrayer and be like but i trusted you i've trusted you for the longest time i've considered you not only a friend but a teammate someone who's really important to me and that i can tell almost everything about and if it is Nadu, let's just say it is, hell, it could be Rika or Momo or even I. I don't think it's I because I is just too important and such. So Momo, Rika, and Nadu, of course, those three. Um, they are probably, you know, like one person when they're around the girls, one person when they're around their fam family, and a completely, like, <clears throat> their, true, their most truest self when they're alone and in their thoughts maybe i'm not 100 percent sure but of course we ain't gonna know until next week but if the confession is just a confession about whatever then we'll scrap like the traitor thing but such yeah but um her assistant looks very suspicious because something something about to go down with like probably three or four episodes left predominantly i'm guessing it is three um 
something about to go down. <laughs> and I'm I'm praying to God they don't do a rush ending. Because this has been a damn good series. And questioning everything. But then also making you go back and rewatch it. Or um, essentially watching someone do like a big old video essay. Because I, I expect a lot of people to do several. Because I, I think some people have already done like several video essays on this series. But I think once the show is concluded... Um, there might be even more video essays specifically talking about every little thing that we've seen from episode one to the beginning and everyone's hopes and dreams and stories. But we ain't going to know until we get to the end of the series. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards episode nine of Wonder Egg Priority. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And of course, I will see you guys officially all next Tuesday for episode 10. Bye, guys.